Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we had made it back home from uh, finding Drachma, um, the Ark Whale, Raknam, as uh, he sadly died in front of us. But we did get the uh, purple gem, which was pretty good. Um, progress has been made. We have upgraded our ship, so that is also pretty good. Um, we have our final ship upgrades now, which is absolutely wicked. Uh, we've got to go have a meeting, I believe. Uh, my voice is kind of shot. It was the Falmouth uh, Sea Shanty Festival yesterday. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a mixed bag. Let's uh, <laughs> put it lightly. So, a little bit, a lot hungover. But hey, we have Skies of Arcadia to play. Now, if I could only remember where our meeting room is. Oh, I wonder if this... Ah, hello. What's going on here? Ooh. I've got a collection of some of the finest weapons that you'll ever see. Well, let's have a chinwag first. Captain, I'm a little tired right now. My youth is escaping me. Your youth escaped you long, a long time ago. If you shall return later, when my strength returns, I shall forge you a blade worthy of legends. Um, okay, sounds good. So, we can get the wind slicer. Mm, a blade so slender that it is fabled to be able to cut the very air in half. Well, I mean, plus 12 is plus 12, I guess. We'll have that. Uh, we've got a, got a bit of coin to spend. So, you know, um, I don't know if that has like any element, any elemental attacks or anything. Uh, Captain's Cloak, actually not that good really for Vase. Ike can wear it though, and it's better for her. So, that's good for, ooh. So, you want a Captain's Cloak for... Ica. Fina as well, like, could get a blessed robe for Fina. Does put her hit up quite a lot, and her defense goes up. Slightly weakens her magic, though. Hmm. 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 Not convinced. Not convinced. Yeah, this stuff is a bit of a mixed bag, actually. Skullcap. A unique hat, sometimes worn by Eastern Air Pirates, improves attack power and will. Hmm. So I guess it's good for Vase. You get the Radiant Fur as well. Thick fur, designed to protect sailors from the cold, improves defense and uh, magic defense. Hmm. Actually, that's quite a big bump in defense. And magic defense, to be honest. That's... Quite a good little item there. And then, of course, we have the skull cap. Um, mm, might get a few of those. We can afford it. Um, but, oh, we got the black map on with him. Yeah, let's give him that. <laughs> uh, she's got the gem of fluidity. Uh, Warrior's Heart. I can't remember what that does. I think that gives you um, a boost to your spirit power, I think. And he's just got like the Ivy Band, which I don't think is that fantastic. I can't remember now. I literally can't remember. Um, um, hmm. Might get a couple of these, just in case we, we get into any trouble. We're not going to equip those yet. Just in case we get into any uh, trouble, we can significantly boost our abilities. Um, okay, so, right. We are going to get that for Ica, Captain's Cloak. Not really sure why she's wearing the Captain's Cloak, but okay. Uh, yeah, it's really not that great. Really not that great for Vase at all. Okay. Give you that. Um... And then Blessed Robe, Enrique can have that. Ooh, defense plus 8 and plus 30 to high. Uh, 
Hmm. Nah, we won't bother. We'll just give it to Enrique. Okay. I'm not actually sure if that's better, to be honest. Uh, for Fina, anyway. Because it puts her dodged. Is it, I'm sure that's dodged down. Uh, and her magic down as well, which obviously, you know, we not that we use a lot of magic, to be fair, but I guess, actually, we could sell our old stuff, couldn't we? Ah, we got some of those. Lovely. Whoa. Oh. These are worth a lot of money. That's bloody hell. I'm not sure if it's worth selling that or holding on to it, to be honest. Uh, Chris, if 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 you're in the house, you'll have to let me uh, know what you recommend on that. They're worth a lot of money. Like, I don't understand. Because they're not that good. I mean, to be fair, like, we'll always confuse an enemy. Not immune to confuse. It's pretty powerful. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not convinced. Um, right, let's get rid of all this. Clear out the cupboards. There we go. Lovely. Uh, and of course, got an obscene amount of stuff. So that, Okay, so the ivy band protects against poison. It's actually quite useful, I suppose. Protects against silence, again. Potentially quite useful. Uh, yeah, some of these things just... Yeah, not that good. But you know what? We'll, we'll hold on to it. We'll hold on to all those things. Right. See you later, buddy. We've got a meeting to have, apparently. Uh, no, I think that's everything here. Oh, my throat is killing me. Lots of shouting last night. Oh. I've been very apprehensive. Oh, wow. This is fancy. About doing any recording today. Uh, for that reason. This is really fancy. Dude. Yes. I like this. I like this a lot. Captain, need anything remodeled? I'll be more than happy to add a little Yafitobu flavor to our base. Uh, oh, decorate the island. Hey, I love decorating. What do you want? I want a found... Ooh, so we can have fish in the pond. And a fountain. Um, so you want... Wait, hang on. Does that re... What do you mean? Ooh. How would you like the fountain done? Natural and elegant. Or in praise of the moons. That sounds good. Okay. So how long does that take then? Because uh, this is so cool, man. Okay. Have it finished by the time you return to the island. Okay, so I guess we have to leave the island and then come back. Alright, not bad. Anyway, what can you do? Uh, decorate the island. So you want me to fix up the place. Build the books, never done. Which is why I became one in the first place. Ooh. Sculptor relief. Then I'll sculpt the face of one of you into the wall over the pond. Whose face do you want? Uh, can we only have one? I mean, <laughs> it's kind of, um, it seems a little bit narcissistic to have um, Vase's face. But then I suppose it's technically his island and he made all this happen. So having Ika's face is just weird because I think she would find that a little bit weird. Um, and Fina, again, it's a bit strange. I guess we'll have um, our face. You want your face immortalized? Not a problem. It would be an honor to sculpt you. I'll make you look legendary. Um, Sure. Sure. Uh, 
sure. Right, okay. Now, I need to go up here and check. Did we? Oh my god, this island looks amazing. I thought we could build more stuff here, I'll be honest. I really did. Yeah, we did get that. Oh, look at this. We're going to have our face up there soon, which is, like I said, really freaking weird, but whatever, yo. We'll uh, we'll roll with it. Sure, sure. Um, right. Hello. This is a very beautiful island that you found, Baines. This pond reminds me of home. It's so relaxing. I wish I could stay here like this forever. Well, um, you can. It's not a problem. All right, let's get this meeting out of the way with. They have done a superb job remodeling this place, haven't they? Absolutely superb. Looks freaking amazing. I did think there was a lot more you could do to it, though. Um, hello. Oh, that looks freaking sweet. I kind of want to see what the other one looks like, but then you've got to pay out for it to be remodeled and blah, 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 blah. This looks incredible. All right. Not bad for a bunch of lowly pirates, eh? Not bad at all. All right, we've got the purple crystal. All that's left are the yellow and silver. Uh -huh. The silverite elders already have the silver crystal. So we really only have to worry about the yellow crystal. It looks like our mission is almost finished. But wait, wasn't the yellow crystal located in the Moor of Tart Tartus in Valua? Last time we went there, we couldn't get in because the opening was sealed. Yes, the Valuans have made several unsuccessful attempts at removing the seal. But perhaps we might be able to bypass the seal with the Delphinus' new engine. According to the geologist of the Valuan Empire, the lower layers of the Valuan Islands are filled with cracks and fissures. And by the look of it, some big nasty beast in the middle. In other words, there's a whole system of subterranean tunnels running through Valua. So all we have to do is fly around underneath Valua and look for an opening. I see. So in other words, if we can't get in from the top, we'll go in and get in from the bottom. That makes sense. We'll fly below Valua and look for an opening underneath the island. Once we get inside the tunnels, we should be able to find the crystal. Since we can fly higher and lower than we ever have before, we might as well take advantage of it. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Let's rest up today. We'll leave for Valua first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. You got it. Except. We're not going to be doing that. Because now, I do like our rooms. Like, we've all got these fancy-ass rooms. Very nice. So, yeah, we're not ex... Ooh. I haven't remodeled that yet. Um, yeah, we're not going to be doing that. Because we've got a lot of stuff to discover. We can basically go fight the two beasts, I believe. In fact, if we actually go back to where we came from... Uh, in the... Yes, uh, yesterday's video? Uh, in the last part... We can actually go get a moonfish and uh, another moonberry. Now, we can't actually use moonberries. So, they're kind of redundant. I don't know if they're worth selling. Chris! Let me know, buddy. If it's worth selling them or keeping them. Or even if you can sell them, I don't know. Right, so let's just dump a save there. Anywhere will do. And let's continue. Um, let's return to our ship. Sure. Now look at our height gauge. We can go all the way down below. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I was well hyped when I first when we first found this when we were playing this game originally. And because we can go way up into the sky and well below things, we can now 
traverse over pretty much any barrier it's pretty freaking wicked so we can literally fly directly to wherever we want to go now we are going to go to sailor's island no let's go to the ice place let's go way above the sky you don't have to worry about pesky air pressure up here no 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 so let's go back let's get our moonfish and the last chest now uh chris also said i should stop calling him chris really <laughs> uh, the game's librarian also informed me that there's an island up here somewhere where we can well well the game will actually tell us how many chests we have found and basically what's left on the to-do list which i didn't know about and that is actually really cool that's a really useful feature all right let's go down 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 deeper and down now uh we haven't actually encountered any combat yet which is surprising we would have thought we would have but uh, what do i know i guess I need to get a list up of all of the, uh, oh, I say all of them, a list of some of the leftover discoveries, because like I said, we should be able to get all of them now. There's, I think there's a couple that are story related, but pretty much we can get all of them. Where's all the monsters? Not that I'm complaining, I think there's too many monsters in this game all the bloody time, but you know, it's a bit weird, because usually we have so many monsters. Ah, look at this, man. This is cool. Like, you can't say that this isn't freaking sweet. The ruins of ice. Yeah, so we can actually go under here and we can find some juicy little extras. And here that, we have a moonberry and a moonfish. Where are you? I know you're here. There's no point in hiding. Uh, oh, there he is. Come to Papa. Nice. Moonfish was caught. Excellent. And everyone celebrated. There we go. So we can now cross that off our... Oh, where does that go? Ah, this is... Oh, right. Right. This just takes us back to the uh, original entrance, I guess. Kind of looks like you can explore a lot of it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. It, and we can't really speed this up much. Don't know why. Um, yeah, it looks like we can explore quite a lot of this, but we actually can't. It's a really small dungeon, actually. Like, really small. I'm guessing we also can't leave the way we came in. Or the uh, the way we came in first time, because you know our ship isn't there. Ah, oh, really, really, literally, our last like tippy toe was in the dungeon, and uh, that's fine. It's okay. I ain't mad. Not even mad. Not even mad. Why would I be mad? Waste my time. There we go. A bit more experience, I suppose. Throw it in the bucket with the rest. Right, let's go back to our ship. Now we have three moonfish to feed to our friend. So let's go to Sailor's Island. Uh, the ruins of ice. Um, be be pretty cool if we could. There we go. Okay, cool. Not sure why <laughs> we were stuck there for a minute. Now, I'm not sure if we can just like. Uh, yeah, so we just head north. Right, all systems, full speed ahead. This is so much better now. Now we can just explore everywhere. It's so cool. And all the shortcuts, like, that's probably the best thing about it, is all the shortcuts. Now, there's that cyclone that we need to get as well, isn't there? Yeah, there's the air current. We've already got that one that just shot off. We've already got that discovery. It's not what we're looking for. Oh no. Ah, there's also, yes, yes, yes. I know, I know other places that we can go to as well. 
Uh, now. Can we cut through here? Yes. Oh, hello. What's the stas? Yes, it's a discovery. Sweet. The flying machine. An odd looking ship whose origins remain a complete mystery. The fluid design and strange metals used in its hull have led to theories of a ship built on another world. Hmm. And some even go as far to say that it travelled through areas without air. Ah. There's a spaceship, basically. It's an interesting thing. Okay. Ooh. Look at this. What is this? What indeed? Get the feeling this should be a discovery. But, I mean, what do I know? I guess. Oh, what's this place? Why are there buildings being built on an island all the way down here? Okay. So... Phase will react to it. Hmm. Curious. Alright, well, that's a conundrum for another day, I guess. Anywho, Sailor's Island. That is not Sailor's Island. That is Shrine Island. We're almost at Sailor's. Ooh. Nope, that's what we've already discovered. Need to go north. Here we go. Stay with the program here. Right, let's go back under the clouds because there's no point fighting these weak ass enemies that are up here. Literally no point whatsoever. Ooh. Oh, it also tells you how, what fish you've got, apparently. This other. Uh, this mysterious island. Are there any B class fish? Just curious. Okay. I would have thought they would have been A fish, but whatever. So, yeah. Uh, it's kind of useful to have that island, to be honest. Now, we should be somewhat under it now. So, we need to go east. And break through the clouds. There we go. Look at that. Now, obviously, we're not looking for... Taylor's Island, we're looking for this dude. Hey, pal. Got something that might interest you. Hi. Hi. I see you've caught some moonfish. Here, let's feed the little grizzle. There we go. Can't have too many of these fish left to find. I don't think there is, actually. little guy's going to start weighing the ship down at this rate. Alright, what do we get? Oh, we got an idol. Okay. I'm going to write down what we're finding from this thing this time, because uh, last time I actually forgot what items, because we had so many, um... I couldn't check. Right, okay, so we've got an idol. <clears throat> Looks like you've still got some moonfish. Of course we're going to feed him moonfish. It's not as if we can do anything else with these things, is it? Yeah. Looks like it was actually floating there for a minute. That was kind of cool. Right, what have you got for me now, big fella? Fiber mail, eh? I'm guessing that's some kind of fancy armor. Right, we should have one more. Feed! Feed it! So we should now have fed it 22 moonfish.
Marksman gun. Interesting. Marksman gun. Thank you for always bringing fish for me. Look how much uh, Picolio has grown. Whoa, and to think he used to be small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Yeah, he's a he's a big boy now. Tell me about it. Who thought that it would grow to be this big? Let's go play over there. Chirp. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maria, be careful. If that big guy starts running around, this rookie old ship won't hold together long. I know. Picolio, come on over here. I just wanted to thank you, Vase, because of you and your crew, Maria, um, Maria has finally come out of her shell. She's become herself again. In return, well, that's a strange way to put it, but in return, I'll tell you the rest of my story. It's hard for me to talk about it, but if Maria can be strong enough to get over her past, I can sit here and dwell on my past. I can't sit here and dwell on my past, rather. Either. I guess I've finally become strong enough to realize that. Doc. Well, if you must know then, I'll tell you. I'll tell you of the tragedy that befell Ramirez. Depend on a person too much and they will betray your trust sooner or later. Also, Gaussian told Ramirez. Maybe that hit a little close to home. I don't know. But for whatever reason, Ramirez began to snoop around for information regarding Mendoza. And that's when we found out that... That Mendoza was using the Ixitacans as slaves for his own personal profit. Oof. He forced the Ixitacans to work for work a few extra hours here and there and pocketed all the extra moonstones that they found for himself. The shock of this discovery was almost too much for Ramirez to bear. He went directly to Admiral Mendoza and confronted him. My lord, is it true? Is it true about the moonstones and the Ixitacan slaves? I won't lie to you. Yes, it is true, but what's the problem? Is there something wrong with making money with desiring wealth and power? You're forcing the Ixitacans to work grueling hours in, in inhumane conditions. My lord, you promised me, you told me that you would speak to Her Majesty in regards to the way the Ixitacans were being treated. <laughs> you truly are naive, aren't you? And what exactly do you think would have happened if I did that? Her Majesty would find out about my little scheme, and I would basically be signing my own death warrant. How... how could you lie to me like that? It is quite unfortunate that things had to turn out this way, Ramirez, and to think I thought of you as a son. Regardless, you have uncovered my plans, and have left me with little choice. Guards, see them. Everything. Everything that I have believed in. Arg. Turning into a zombie. By the time I got there, it was already too late. The guards, even Admiral Mendoza, they had all fallen under Ram Ramirez's blade. So he snapped. He killed them all. Ramirez, what? What have you done? Killed them all. Good man, I say. I... I'm sorry, Doc. But I can no longer trust humans. I can no longer remain here. Is he not a uh, human? Wait, Ramrez, where are you going? Goodbye, Doc. The Ramrez that you knew is no more. He died the moment I drew my blade against Admiral Mendoza. From now on, I will only believe in strength. I shall follow those with power. Okay, so he still wants to follow. Wait, Ramrez! Ramirez! Ramirez! Or oh, Ramirez, there we go. And so Ramirez went to uh, Gaussian side, and I believe you know the rest of the story. Okay, so just because somebody basically lied to him about skimming a little bit of money off the, the top, uh, he lost his shit and murdered everyone. Okay. And then decided 
to turn evil. He didn't just mentally snap, that was an actual decision that he made. Okay. I had spent so much time with both Mendoza and Ramirez, uh, Ramirez, and yet I could do nothing to stop this tragedy from happening. If only, if I only had the strength to stop him, Mendoza, Ramirez, and even Maria, all of their lives would have turned out so much differently. Doc. I know, I know, I'm going to stop living in the past. I've got to keep looking forward and hope for the best. And besides, I think there's a blessing that I was able to save Ma uh, Maria from the burning wreckage of the Aquila. Exactly. See? Aquila, that name. Wait a second there, Fina. You don't think. But I heard that some air pirates that were passing through the area helped save most of the crew after we left, though. Hey, Doc, Maria wouldn't happen to have an older sister, would she? Actually, she did. Wait, did I forget to tell you that? Well, unfortunately, she went missing after the accident. Nobody knows what happened to her. Poor Piastall. It's bothered me for years that I couldn't save both of them. <gasps> then it is her. Uh -huh. There's no doubt about it. Maria and Piastall are long-lost sisters. We gotta tell Piastall. Piastall said she would come to fight us again sometime. When we see her, we'll tell her everything we know. What she does with this information is up to her. Ah. Interesting. Well, well, well. I mean, to be fair, after our last encounter with her, that was kind of pretty obvious. I suppose what we could do is go to the Sailor's Island quick and see if we can get another battle with her. Uh, we should be able to handle her, even if we if we do get another battle. I can't remember how many times we fought her. We fought her twice, or was it three times? Because I think... Oh, I haven't even checked the items either. Right, let's check the items that we got. Um, can we, can we check? Thank you. Okay, so let's have a little look at this armor. Actually, we've got a seed. Uh, increased will. Well, any other seeds? So we got that. One of the three lost sacred figures that Pinter is looking for. Hmm. Okay. We've got four moonberries. Uh, we've got two chams. Guess we might as well use them. Um, so, one of the lost sacred figures. Did we just sell those? Might look into that. Again, games librarian. Let me know what we do with those idols. I You may have already told me, but this series has been going on for months now, and I can't remember. Okay, so equipment. Now, I'm guessing she can't wear that. No, it's going to be for vase, isn't it? Most likely. Uh, it is. Very effective armor woven from a special type of moss found in the Dark Rift. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, so we lose one point of magic. Uh, our hit actually goes down quite a lot. But our defense does go up by quite a lot. The attack goes down by 20, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, I mean, the magic loss is basically nothing. The hit loss is not fantastic. See, on paper, I don't know, actually. No, nope. I think we're going to keep the Berserker Mail, to be honest. Because it gives us more damage. Although, we do lose 24 defense. Mm, do you want more damage, or do you want more defense? Basically, is the trade-off here. And extra hit. Yeah, we'll keep the Berserker Mail. Right, let's go see if we can get another black spot.
Hey, dude. These the Battle Lord. I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, please don't hurt me. Um. Okay, so I guess we don't have a black spot yet. So we still need to find some more. Okay, cool. So we're the Battle Lord. That basically means that we have killed over... I think it's over 2,000 enemy creatures now. Something like that. 2,500. Something silly like that. But uh, anyway, guys, we're going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, I guess we're going to start looking for some discoveries and things. Of which there is plenty to find. So, till then, thanks for watching, guys.